Every two minutes, three people are diagnosed and two people die from a blood cancer around the world. But one form of leukemia challenges these statistics. In fact, 2011 Pulitzer Prize winner estimates that in 10 years, each of us on average will know one person with this leukemia, chronic myeloid leukemia, who is being kept alive by a targeted anti-cancer drug. Chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML, is a cancer of the blood and bone marrow in which the body produces cancerous white blood cells. Worldwide, CML makes up 15% of all adult leukemia cases. In the 1960s, researchers discovered that chromosome 22 in CML patients is shorter. Researchers later learned that chromosome 22 is shorter due to a flip-flop of genetic material on the ninth chromosome and 22nd chromosome in an event known as translocation. The result? The development of a cancer-causing gene called BCR ABLE that causes the production of a dysfunctional protein that is responsible for the setting off of the cascade of signals telling the body to produce cancerous white blood cells. CML is often found when a doctor orders blood tests for an unrelated health problem or during a routine checkup. If an elevated level of white blood cells is detected, the doctor will order additional tests to diagnose the type of leukemia and stage of the disease. For example, a PCR test looks for the presence of BCR ABLE in the leukemic cell, and a bone marrow test will analyze the chromosomal abnormality. Signs and symptoms of CML tend to develop gradually. So many people with CML are either asymptomatic at diagnosis or have symptoms that are not very specific. Before the year 2000, few CML patients survived seven years. Now, nearly 90% are alive at least seven years following their diagnosis and leading relatively normal lives. The word leukemia is a bit scary when you don't know much about it. When I was first diagnosed with CML, I wanted to meet somebody else who'd had CML. Last week I actually got to meet six people and that's, that's amazing. The introduction of targeted CML therapies, which are administered orally and target the cells containing the BCR ABLE protein, have transformed the management of the disease over the last decade. Today, the goal of treatment is to keep a patient in the chronic phase where the leukemic cells are slowly reproducing and to prevent the disease from progressing to later stages, known as accelerated and blast crisis. There are several more treatment options to choose from today than there was a decade ago. It is important for patients to discuss options with their doctor so that they have the best opportunity for treatment success from the start. But these drugs do have side effects, including some serious, potentially life-threatening side effects. So it's important for patients to discuss anything they are experiencing with their doctor. What can patients do to help their doctor and play an active role in their treatment plan? But even with all these advances, doctors and scientists are always learning more about CML. For example, researchers are currently trying to understand what impact achieving a very low level of leukemic cells, known as molecular response, can have on the patient's disease in the future. When we first started to, uh, to, to trial the kinase inhibitor drugs, I think we all believed that we might be able to prolong life significantly with this approach. Uh, then over the, the process of a few years of experience with the drug, we started to believe that maybe we could control disease long term. It's been a, an evolution of, uh, of expectation with, this, with these kinase inhibitor drugs. How long have you or your loved one been living with CML?